Book of Mary is doing some predictions for you today. Now it is a general reading, so it's trust yourself what resonates, leave what does not. And do remember that whilst the tarot and the oracle can provide you with guidance, it's always up to you to take actions and make decisions uh, aligned with your own path. And big welcome to those that are new to my channel, those that follow me regularly, love your support. If you do enjoy my readings, make sure to subscribe to my channel, show the love, hit that like button and the notification bell so you get notified when your next star sign readings up on my channel. You still have time to go into the August competition to win a one hour pre-recorded personal reading with me where I meditate on your energy, check your Akashic records, your past life information, answer your most burning questions with the tarot and the oracle. Super easy to enter. All you got to do, pop a comment below this video. Let me know you want to go into the draw. Be subscribed and I'll be drawing a random winner at the end of the month and announcing it on my channel. My personal readings are open. They are deeply transformational. If you do need extra support and guidance at this time, do reach out. Booking links on here and down below. Let's dive in. So we're doing past, present, future predictions. Let's see what's coming towards you, Aries. Oh, you've got the king of fire. Some of you stepping into a leadership role, possibly getting a promotion, taking charge of situations in your life, feeling really motivated. Some of you public speaking. Let's see if there's anything challenging you right now. Okay, some of you are working too hard. You've got the ten of fire. So spirit's saying you're going to need to take to balance your energy, darling. So you're going to have some stress-related health concerns. So as busy as you are, you've also got to balance that with getting enough rest, yeah? All right, let's have a look at the basis of the situation. Oh, you've got that ego here. So watch that you're not holding yourself stuck in any way by what you're saying to yourself. Spirit's saying you can release yourself at any time. Watch being in states of procrastination. Any other guidance there? Oh, darlings, you've got a windfall of abundance coming in or a very lucrative contract that's going to bring a lot more money into your life. There's a home in the background. I mean, it's a mansion, darlings. Mansion. <laughs> okay, I'm going to give you a warning. Have a look at the contrasting energies here. So if you're going to stay in a state of procrastination, you're going to be in negativity. This abundance going to be blocked, right? You've got to shift from negative to positive. What does that mean? Well, the minute I said there's a windfall of abundance, if you went, oh, that's not going to happen, that's what I'm talking about. You've got to have positive expectations that blessings are going to come into your life. Positive expectations that if you've applied for a leadership role, that it's going to come to you, right? Believe in yourself. Mm -hmm. Yes, darling, believe in yourself. All right, let's have a look at the recent past. That's flying out. In the recent past, you had the four of fire, which is some sort of celebration that you attended or went to. Also represents peace and prosperity, financial security in your life. There is a beautiful home in the background. Let's have a look at the present. Oh, this is flying out. Oh, you've got the king of earth, a time of great success, the Midas touch. Supportive parent or spouse. I mean, he's got his coin in his lap. He's feeling very confident. doesn't matter what gender you are. You've also got wise counsel here. You may be somebody that gives great advice to others. Um, I'm not saying that you shove your advice down other people's throat. People come naturally drawn to you for advice. Mm -hmm. it, can also use, it can also be you seeking mentorship or advice from someone, particularly around your career or some opportunity you've applied for. Let's have a look in the near future. Oh, in the near future, you got the Nine of Cups. All your wishes coming true. Everything you want coming in. Oh, hello, Aries. Let's have a look at your energy. Oh, you got the Nine of Earth. Self-made success, particularly if you're in your own business. So much coin here. Based on your own hard work, the ability to buy something nice for yourself. Okay, you got the Seven of Cups. You're going to have many options and many choices in front of you, so just make some wise choices, yeah? Um, and again, it says don't procrastinate. Okay, let's have a look at the energy of those around you. Oh, you got the three of fire. Your ships are coming in. There's definitely an opportunity coming in, one that you're hoping for, planning for the long term. 
and you've got the page of air so it could be some timing issues it could be some documents you need to review there could be some challenging information that comes in but everything that comes in is going to lead to transformation new beginnings because you're surrounded by butterflies let's have a look at your hopes and fears well, your hopes and fears position is deception or someone that doesn't have great intentions. Okay, why are you worrying about that? Okay, again, it's about your ideas needing refinement. Are you worrying someone's going to steal your ideas? Mm -hmm. Any guidance on that? Oh, well, Spirit's saying you just need to balance yourself. Bring yourself into balance. Okay, so if you're going for a position or something that's highly competitive, Spirit's saying, do not worry what anyone else is doing, right? You just focus on yourself and stay balanced emotionally, physically, mentally. Have a look at the outcome. The outcome is you focusing on the negative and the cups, that, the spilled cups, the things that haven't worked out. Worrying about that. Oh, again, there's a stalemate going on. Are you procrastinating? Or oh, you got to watch your energy. And you've got the night of air. So there's going to be news coming in fast. Some of you are going to be worrying that you're not going to get what you want. You're going to get yourself in a state of procrastination. Toing and froing, back and fro goes your mind. Mm -hmm. And then in it rushes, right? Or it's not going to rush in because you're being so negative, darling. Right? <laughs> Stop being negative. That's all I'm going to say to you. Stop being negative. I mean, look at the blessings that want to happen for you. I mean, it, sometimes what you want is not an easy path, right? Recognize that. It's part of life. Mm -hmm. You're actually going to have to do a bit of work to get what you want. But Spirit's saying the energy's there for it to come in. All right, let's pull you some clarifiers with the Muse Tarot. Oh, spirit saying you got the hierophant here. Some of you need to go within and take some quiet time out to find some peace within yourself. Trust your own understanding. Mm -hmm. Let's have a look at this windfall of abundance here or lucrative contract and you holding yourself stuck a bit. Mm -hmm. Oh, again, confirmation. You've got the ten of materials coming in. Amazing abundance coming in. It's going to provide for your future. Children, generational wealth. <laughs> Let's have a look at the present where some of you got the Midas touch and possibly giving advice or seeking advice. Or oh, you got the five of voices. Someone's going to, either you're going to extend an olive branch to someone or they're extending an olive branch to you to work together. Mm hmm. So perhaps there's a situation where there's an amazing opportunity, but it's with people or a company where before you've had some issues with. And Spirit's saying they're so open to working with you. Don't fear people being deceptive. Mm -hmm. mm. You've got the ace of inspiration. Spirit's saying you've got to trust in your inspired ideas. Let's have a look at your energy where you've got the nine of materials here, which is self-made success, and lots of options before you. Or you've got the muse of voices, which is you speaking your truth with integrity, acting in accordance with your own values, doing what's right for you when it comes to the options before you. Let's have a look at this amazing opportunity coming in. There could be more than one and possibly some challenging information. Oh, Spirit's saying go into your high priest or high priestess energy. Your higher states of consciousness. Mm -hmm. Let's have a look at your hopes and fears position where you're worrying about people being deceptive. Your ideas might need refinement or worrying so people are going to pinch them. And Spirit's saying you need to bring yourself into balance. Mm -hmm. oh. oh, you got the queen of voices, which you've got to speak your truth. Right? So. If there has been someone that's been deceptive in the past and you're going to have to work with them or collaborate with them, I don't think I don't see collaboration here. So whether you're going into an environment where someone was underhanded before or are they possibly trying to get the same job that you're going for and being underhanded behind the scenes, 
then you need to go and face them and speak your truth. When you do, it's really going to pull them up, right? And it doesn't have to be harsh, but it's just really matter of fact. Mm -hmm. It's about not brushing things under the carpet, really bringing it out into the open. And do it with temperance, Spirit's saying, right? Do it in a very balanced, calm way. If you can't do it in a balanced, calm way, then it's not the right time to have that conversation. Do it when you are balanced and calm. Let's have a look at the outcome, which is you focusing on the negative. Uh huh. And then in comes rushing in some information or news for you. Five of emotions. Feeling like someone stabbed you in the shoulder with an ice pick. Why, darlings? Why? <laughs> Oh, Spirit's saying, would you please get into the Emperor energy? Trust and believe in yourself. Have confidence that what you want is going to come to you. Okay, some of you need a good shake-up. <laughs> Let's put you some guidance from the Messenger Oracle. Oh, you've got to embrace your shadow side. All right, your negative self-talk, working too hard, overthinking things, worrying you're not going to get what you want. Because really what's coming through is fear projection that you're not going to get what you want. Spirit's saying heed the messengers, right? They're telling you what's coming, right? They're telling you. And let the emotions flow. Some of you need to de-stress, definitely, big time. When you do, you're going to open up the third eye chakra, which is your intuition. You're going to see things clearly. All right, let's pull you some guidance from the Nature's Whispers Ari. Oh, Spirit's saying, whatever you do, whatever choice you make, be true to your heart. What's in alignment with you? What lights you up? What's in accordance with your values? Mm, you need to bring some more laughter into your life. You need to lighten up, darling. Mm, and open your heart up to love. So while you're going through this, some of you, there's... Possibly a new love situation. I think you got your life's pretty full on right now. For others, it's relating to your partner. So being open with your partner about your fears, your insecurities, having them as a support for you, doing things together that are very loving and, you know, embrace that connection no matter what's going on around you. Let's give you some guidance from your animal spirit guides. Oh, you've got the dragonfly spirit. It says truth transcends illusion. Bust through your own illusions where you're just involved in negative self-talk. Uh, also, speak your truth when you need to, particularly with people that haven't done the right thing by you before or they're doing stuff behind your back, right? Now, you've got the giraffe spirit. Now, giraffes have a very long neck, darling, right? They can see everything around them. So we're saying you need to see the big picture. Mm -hmm. Yes, particularly your own shadow side. It's a timing thing. You just need patience. Mm -hmm. Or you need to set healthy boundaries with people. You've got the armadillo spirit. That's you speaking your truth. Mm -hmm. What you will and will not accept in terms of behavior. And you've got the dog spirit, which is be loyal to what you love. Being really clear about what lights you up, what you're happy doing, the opportunities that you want to pursue. Wow. Let's pull your message from your angels. Well, you've got Archangel Gabriel. Are you ready, Aries? Are we got our listening ears on, darlings? It says you will soon receive some positive news. The channels for clear and honest communication are now open. Keep an open heart and speak your truth lovingly without fear. Mm -hmm. The news that you're waiting for is coming in. <laughs> All right, let's put you some guidance. There's a crowning energy from the Pegasus Oracle. This is a beautiful deck by Lana Fairchild. Mm. I love this for you. You pulled the Pegasus of the Sun. Number nine represents cycle completions, new life chapter starting in your life. Pull you up the guidance. It says, Aries, 
Our beloved soul guardian Pegasus brings portent of higher consciousness, golden with solar radiance that bestows clarity and healing of divine golden light wherever it's needed. It's the gift of the power of the positive. <laughs> no one you pulled this. Mm -hmm. The capacity to transform struggle, suffering and victimization into enlightenment, success and victory. All that you feel within your heart, including your dreams, your desires, and deepest yearnings are seeds of your soul's sacred purpose and divine destiny. Do not give up. Believe in your inevitable fruition. Make commitments that serve your soul purpose. This solar blessing may give rise to resistance in the form of doubt, fear, uncertainty, insecurity, comparison, or distrust. Such thoughts and feelings offer opportunities for healing. Bear them with compassionate witnessing and then allow them to be absorbed in, and dissolved in the golden light. Pegasus reminds us that the light is more powerful than any doubt and is more creative and resourceful than our limited human perspective may recognize. And that is why we have faith. It is the heart's wise capacity to trust in the trustworthy. Even when logic may dictate otherwise, you have navigated a significant turning point and attain spiritual graduation through a very difficult karmic cycle. You're being reinstated to your full radiance. Any errors that led you away from your true path and purpose are being corrected. Place your faith in the light, a positive change of heart and status is imminent. <laughs> the most perfect message, darlings, for your reading. Uh -huh. All right, those are your messages. Love to hear your feedback, your comments down below on how this reading resonated for you. Don't forget to enter the competition before you go. Do reach out for a personal reading if you do need extra guidance and support at this time. Booking links on here and down below for now. Much love, much light. Namaste. Mm -hmm.